Dynamo 2.13 recently came out and it was released with Revit 2023. Since coming out, they now have another version called 2.14. There are a few new features in there. Some of them are really exciting. I'm excited where they might go. So we're gonna take a look at those today. If that sounds interesting, check out the rest of this video. All right, so as you may or may not have seen, Dynamo Core 2.14 is out now. There is a blog post on the Dynamo blog from Saul that describes all the different changes. Dynamo Core or Dynamo Sandbox is a version of Dynamo that allows you to preview features before they're in a version of Dynamo like Dynamo for Revit or Dynamo for Civil 3D or anything like that. So in order to test this, you do need to go download it from the build site. And that site is dynamobuilds.com. So if you go to dynamobuilds.com, you will see that we have a few different versions in here. We have Dynamo Core Runtime 2.14. So if you want to test this out, that's what you can download. With Dynamo, and Saul elaborates on this a bit on the Dynamo forum, Dynamo Core or Dynamo Sandbox, they make changes very quickly. Uh, so they're always kind of around the Revit releases in this case. Right now we're just on Revit 23. Dynamo 2.14 is out. So the logic there would be the next version of Revit that comes out should hopefully have these changes. Uh, integrators like Revit absorb changes as they happen. So them having this out well before we've seen an update for Revit 23 is good news, I think. I don't know for sure. There's no way to know which version is going to be in Revit until that update comes out. So as of right now in Revit 23, you have access to 2.13. But it is exciting to start to test some of these new features. So within Dynamo, if we start to place some nodes, so what I'll do is I'll place a code block and we'll make it mess up. And we'll place some more nodes here. And we'll copy these and then we'll end up freezing these. I'll hide this node. Yeah, so we have a few different things happening here on the screen. So first of all, the freeze looks pretty nice because it has that gray overlay. But if we zoom out, we will notice these little icons appear on the nodes. This is really exciting. These kind of give you that contextual look of what's going on on your workspace. So this is really exciting. This is new for Dynamo 2.14, and I can't wait to see it be integrated in Revit as well. If we were to place a custom node, this is an idea that I have that I'm working on. In Monocle, we have the ability to highlight that custom node. So I'm working on in Monocle, if you have it highlighted and you zoom out, it should color it as well. So that's something that I want to add with this new feature. So we'll see if I get that done, but that's kind of interesting to be able to start to interact with it too. Once again, Monocle's open source, so you can kind of see how that's happening as well. Pretty cool stuff. Another thing that's really neat, and we'll disable this highlighting, is the ability to create groups that are kind of standardized. So if we create a group with control G on our keyboard, we now have access to something called group styles. These are really exciting because under Dynamo preferences, visual settings, we now have group styles. These are very, very similar to Monocle's group styles, but these are built into Dynamo now. So I created a test one, so I'll delete that real quick. And we can see that we're given a few default ones. These are serialized per Dynamo instance. So if you want to see where these live, let me open that folder. In your roaming folder for your Dynamo install, you have access to a Dynamo settings.xml file. So we can see I have Dynamo settings.xml. I edit this with Notepad++, which is the way to edit Notepad stuff a lot easier. We'll see that we have a new section down here for group style item list. Group style item is each one. So this is where these are stored. So if you wanted to deploy these across a firm, this is where you would do that. So if I were to close Dynamo and reopen it, I would see this notepad item refresh. Uh, in this case, I wanna add another style, we'll name it override, I don't know, something default and we'll hit save. Whenever we go to use these now, we have those options available to us. Really cool. 
This is another feature that I look forward to integrating with Monocle myself. So I plan on adding another setting in here, probably somewhere right here that says push group settings to group styles or something or absorb uh, just to kind of tie those together. Because in Monocle, personally, I like seeing all those group styles quote in this little icon that I have. Uh, the group styles don't currently rename the group title or the description. A uh, little feedback, I would love for this actions, inputs, and outputs to actually rename the group at the same time. Um, the color's great, but I'd really like to see that rename it too. So that's another kind of feature request. Other than that, there are a lot of other speed improvements and things like that. The zoom states I'm most excited about. They've expanded the help. So if you right click on nodes and you click on help, it'll give you more information. But yeah, there's a whole lot of other things in here. I encourage you to check out the full blog post. I linked it below. Uh, but yeah, always, always, always be paying attention to new things uh, within Dynamo on the core releases because it's kind of a preview of what's to come. This release is really exciting uh, for me personally because it's the first time that I've contributed to Dynamo's source code, my contribution. So as you may know, in Dynamo, if you drag nodes into groups in Dynamo 2.13 and up, you are able to add that to the group. My contributions, if you hold down the Alt key and click on a node, it removes it from the group. So I actually added that to the source code myself. Pretty cool, a uh, pretty exciting thing to actually be contributing to the source code. So yeah, if you hold down Alt, it'll remove it from the group. And that goes if you try to select multiple too, I believe. Yep, removes them from the group. So give it a try, go download it, test it out and see what you think. Uh, other than that, I hope that's kind of exciting. Dynamo Sandbox, Dynamo Core, great way to see things that are coming out. And let me know what your favorite new features are below. And yeah, thanks for checking out this video.